digiscoping came about and gave us a phenomenal opportunity to take not only what we saw through our spotting scopes and record it, bring it home with us on video, on stills, and really make the experience memorable and you can show it to other people. Uh, that's really what I love about digiscoping. And one of the challenges has always been the fact that the spotting scopes were never designed for imaging. Our cameras were never designed for spotting scopes and our adapters putting the two together were oftentimes a compromise. With the new ATX spotting scope, we started with a clean sheet of paper, designed an entire optical path, designed the eyepiece and adapter systems all to work in perfect harmony. So what we've got is a, is a mounting ring that works for two basic adapters. And we come up with two adapters to kind of cover everything, all of your needs. If you have a little compact camera or a system camera with a little pancake lens, you can use the DCB2, a swing adapter, pop it on there, focus being on the simple and easy. So if you're out watching wildlife or watching birds and you see a great wader or a bear on the other side of the hill, you see it looking through, flip it down, the new compact cameras, lots of them have got great video, so you can have even up to full HD video and click record, put your hands away and just let the bear wander through the, through the field. Fantastic opportunities there. In recent years, the rise of interchangeable lens cameras, digital SLRs and now the mirrorless cameras, digiscoping with them is a lot easier because you can change lenses and find a lens to work with your scope. The problem was some lenses work better than others behind spotting scope eyepieces. Again, from that clean sheet of paper, when we designed this scope, we came up with the TLS APO, which is a lens that is designed to optically complement the entire optical system here. With adapters, you can put it on any interchangeable lens camera ever made. Then when you're in the field, you can say, wow, I've got to get a picture of that, lock it in place, get your photos, and especially with the digital SLRs having incredibly good digital video, you can take broadcast quality wildlife videos easily. So that'll give you a focal length range of 750 all the way up to 1800 millimeters. And so for the first time, somebody has put together a system with great optical quality for DSLRs and a very simple solution for compact cameras. Go out and have fun.